there are vacuums out there, Chinese vacuums, that need to be connected to Chinese servers. I don't know if anybody knew this. It's kind of creepy. Like, why do Chinese and Japanese uh, vacuums need to be connected to a Chinese or Japanese server for it to work? I bought this awesome vacuum and mop that's in one. It's an all-in-one vacuum mop called Tinico. And uh, it completely connects to a Chinese server to uh, to transmit and receive information. Like, I made, it, I made a joke out of it. I actually have a video of it where you could turn the audio on for it. Like when you plug it in, it says charging started, charging stopped. Like when you put it on and off, I can control that with my computer through a Chinese cloud server. There's no reason that that vacuum and mop should connect to a Chinese cloud uh, cloud infrastructure whatsoever, but uh, it does. And at any point they could change the way that functionality works and take over my home network with this vacuum mop. You're talking about that Americans can purchase? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's probably specifically for data retrieval. Yeah. For what? Like what's going, what kind of pubic hair you're following? Is it falling off your body? <laughs> Cause you're, you're vacuuming all this stuff. And it's just analyzing all this stuff coming off your floor. No, like we talked about before, most modern vacuum robot vacuums have cameras on it. So what they're doing is they're doing two sets of data. Like we talked about it before with the Roombas. They're not only taking video camera of your house and pictures of your house, but they're also mapping your house. So they have digital mappings of your whole house. And so this can serve two reasons. Like Amazon would like this because they can see what kind of products you have in your house. And then they can give you future advertisements when you open up your Amazon app because they see, oh, well, maybe they have a broken TV or maybe they have a whatever. They can analyze your house through AI, of course, Correlated with your app, because it's all in the same network, your, your Roomba and your Amazon f account and your phone. And so they'll be able to correlate that easily. And then they could probably do advertisement. They'll know your house. So now they know the mapping of your house. It's a multiple accesses of data. Now, China wants that information too, or Japan or Korea or Russia or whoever. And so naturally everybody, because this information is sellable. Let's say some company wants to know about the demographics in Florida. Well, if they have all this information on a bunch of homes in Florida, you can sell this as a bundle package of data. So data is sellable. So if China has all this data, they could sell it to whoever. I don't even know, though. Like, it's just weird that it's required. Your vacuum will not work unless it connects to the server in Japan or in China, the Chinese or Japanese server. Now, I didn't even know I didn't even know you could buy Japanese or Chinese like specific products, but apparently people are doing it. And I guess this has caused some kind of uproar. Well, a lot of these modern robot vacuums are actually from China. They're like, like Roomba? No, like the Zai, the I think it's called uh Robo Rock or something like that. It's like a very popular like the S5 or X6 model. It's a, a very popular robotic AI driven vacuum but it's a it's a direct manufactured product from china and you have to download a chinese app and it's the only way this robot connects to the internet is you have to use a chinese app i don't care if the american government is looking at me on the toilet because i know that they have my best interest in mind i just don't want communist china or japan or Russia looking at me on the toilet because I know they don't have the, my best interest in mind when America does. Well, I, I think data in general, and you're probably being facetious, but data in general is uh, it's kind of transcended in a sense. Nobody actually cares about you per se. They just care about what you're worth. And what you're worth is just the information they can pro provide as a bundle, a bundle of information. And that's based upon the preferences that AI generate based upon what they gather. Like if they want to know all the houses in Florida that have broken televisions, if these robots can allocate all the houses because they're scanning it all with broken televisions, they can sell a bundle of data to a company that wants to advertise their new TVs 
to all the Florida residents that have broken televisions because now they know who they are because the vacuum cleaners have allocated who all have broken televisions. Yeah, until Amazon kicks them all out of their house and then uh, Japan now can't sell their broken television well, to sure, sure. Amazon <laughs> But people. my whole point is this is how data is sold and packaged in value. And maybe that's what happened with that guy, the Amazon guy. Maybe he was... His television, you know, was busted and he was going to buy a Japanese one. So Amazon said, no. Nope. I think more or less what you're saying may be more right with that. They just wanted to do a proxy test to see what happens when Americans see what happens when smart city or smart home malfun malfunctions happen. What kind of reactions will the American public express? That's probably more of a valid reason for that. Or maybe Amazon is Chinese for something. Maybe. We, we talked about it before. Amazon is in collusion with the IMF, the Malaysian Bank, the Bank of Italy, the Bank of Korea, and they're trying to create this global infrastructure utilizing this thing called the Purpose Bound Money, the PBM protocol. So maybe they are in deeper collusion than we think. Well, anyways, uh, that's why data is valued and, and accumulated. It's not because they care about you. They care about what they can bundle you with and sell you as a package of data. And China wants to do that as much as any other country, so it doesn't surprise me why they want that home-specific information. But if you're willing to give all that information to Amazon, Facebook, and everybody else, really, who cares? Because if you're already willing to give it up, what's the difference of giving it to China? Nothing. And that's why it's like the same thing with TikTok. You want to say, let's ban TikTok because of China. Well, what about Snapchat and Facebook uh, no, and Instagram? It's all the same thing. If you're giving up all this data. That was my little innuendo there. Is that everybody's so scared of China's TikTok, but they're not scared of YouTube and Facebook. You know, they trust Zuckerberg, but they're not going to trust Xi Jinping. Yeah. And it's all the same thing. You're just a bundle of data. Also known as Xi Jumping. <laughs> Shout out to China. Anyways, I, I agree with that. It, it is silly, and it, yeah, if you you have to be consistent if you want to fight for that. 